If you don't want to use the AI characters feature in CapCut but still need to create AI generated videos, you can use the text to speech feature. There are three main advantages to using the text to speech feature over the AI characters feature. The first is that you can create content faster. The second is that you can edit in real time and have changes made. And the third is that you can actually edit video clips using auto captions. If you have clips that have a voiceover, just generate auto captions like I did here, and the captions will be automatically generated. Text will appear underneath your video clip anywhere you are speaking. I'm going to change this caption to say that this video was AI generated using the text to speech feature, not the AI characters feature. To edit a caption, just select it and either tap the little pencil or double tap the text box on screen to bring up the keyboard. Once you have the keyboard on screen, you can then move your cursor around and change the caption to say what you want. In this case, I'm going to say that this video was AI generated using the text to speech feature. When you're done typing, tap the check mark and you can continue editing. You can also remove captions that you don't want in the video. Just remove the caption by selecting it and tapping the trash can to delete it. You can do this as many times as you need to. There is a gap in between the two captions. Use the last auto caption and the next auto caption as a gap to split your clip on both ends like this and delete the clip in the middle. Nine Notice seven. that the auto captions have snapped Snap right together. And make sure you're working with the original. This so means you that you can use your auto captions to edit your video Thank clips. You. Repeat this process until you've edited your captions and video clips for the entire video. This trick is helpful because it's actually difficult to see the audio bumps if you extract an audio layer in CapCut. You can add text to videos manually. To do that, tap on the text icon and tap Add Text. When the keyboard appears, type the text that you want to see. You don't need to worry about how the text looks on screen if you're planning to remove the captions later. Type exactly what you want in the box. That You can type settings in the search field inside the app library and then select it from the list. I added this line for any viewer who might not be familiar with how to use the iOS app library to find specific apps on your iOS device. The text I added manually has a bit of a different orange color. You can stretch out the text boxes for as long as you need them. To do that, just grab the end and move it by long pressing and dragging until you get to the beginning of your next clip. This caption will remain on screen. When you manually enter text and use the text to speech feature, you need to make sure that the caption is on screen long enough for your AI voice to say your entire phrase. Once again, if you want to, you can use your captions as a guide to edit your clips. Split the clip after the last caption and before the next caption, and then delete the middle portion. And you'll notice that your captions will snap together. If the video clip is still too slow, you can adjust the playback speed for that clip to make it match. To use the text-to-speech feature, select one of your captions like this, swipe over, and next to the AI characters feature option, there's a text-to-speech option. Tap on it and you'll be presented with a number of voices you can choose from. 
If you're using a free version of CapCut, you can use any voice except for the ones that say Pro. This video was AI I'm going to use the Jesse using... voice, so I'll tap on it and tap the check mark. Make sure the radio button in the corner that says Apply to All Captions is selected. This video was AI generated using the text to speech feature in CapCut. Please keep that in mind as you watch. In this video, I'll show you how also to create notice a wallpaper. that the captions have been adjusted based on in this video, I'll show you the how audio to file. A wallpaper. Using one Play of your through your video to make sure 17. that your captions say what you want them to Find say the and sound that you correct. Want to and make sure you're working you may the notice that there's a slight different Tap on color edit between from the, upper right the text corner. boxes Tap that on the auto icon. are the auto Next, captions and the text the boxes that you manually create. Tap on this icon in the upper right corner to access the standard if photo sizes. If there is a problem, Tap just on regenerate to format the photo. The Tap done and then swipe up AI to close voice. photos. Search for and open the settings app. Notice here there is no audio, so what you want to do is tap this caption here. This is the first one that I manually added. Make sure the radio button in the upper left hand corner is you selected. Can type settings. Then select the same voice and you can type the AI voice the will now be applied to all from the list. of the captions, whether Swipe they are manually added or auto captions. Wallpaper. Then choose add new wallpaper pair. Tap photo. Continue to play through your video to see how the captions Tap on albums. sound. And then choose the recent album. This is the default album. At this point, you could Tap change on recents to open the, recent the captions album. and have the and then AI voice the photo regenerated. That you just formatted. But they sound pretty it good. It will be in the upper left hand corner. This is what the photo looks As like. As a wallpaper, tap on Add. And then add new wallpaper pair. Here's your new wallpaper pair. Each time you select a photo, a new lock screen is created. You can switch between them. Once you've added a wallpaper pair, you can a wallpaper pair. You can change your lock screen. Swipe down from the middle of your home screen. Press and hold on the screen to access your lock screen. Swipe left or right to choose a lock screen. Tap once to select your lock screen. Once you're satisfied with your AI voice, you can begin removing the captions if you want to. Select each caption individually and tap on the trash can to delete it. The AI voice, shown by the green line directly underneath the video clips, will remain. Make sure to scrub back and forth several times to ensure that you've got all of your captions deleted. To edit your AI voice, once it's generated, go back to the main timeline, tap on audio, and you'll see the audio files. Please keep that this is in what your mind AI voice you looks watch. like. In if you want to remove a piece of audio, just tap on it to select it and tap the trash can to delete it like this. Now this is what you Please have. keep that in mind as you watch. I'll show you how to create a wallpaper. Using one of your photos in iOS 17, this is what the photo looks as like. As a wallpaper, tap on Add. There's a problem here. If I play the audio, you'll notice that... This piece of audio it is a bit like too close to this piece of audio. Wallpaper First thing you need to do to fix this is take two fingers and spread them apart on screen so that the audio clip stretches out like this. Move to the exact position you need to, select the clip, and then tap on split. This will create two separate audio clips from this one clip. Then you can move the clip on the right. Long press and hold your clip, drag it into position where you want to, and then let go. Paper tap on add. Audio clips Swipe don't snap together like auto captions do. To fix this, all you need to do is scrub forward until press you run into your next audio clip, your lock then long Swipe press on it, 
or right to choose and a move lock it into screen. position Tap to make sure to that your audio your clips line up with your video. Export and save your video. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to tap on the notification bell once you've subscribed so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.